Hello and welcome Virgo. This is your March 2023 general reading with myself Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower Readings. Please like, subscribe and share and if you like my work. You can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, what we do here, Virgos, we are looking into three different sections um, to make it uh, a bit easier, I suppose, to understand the messages. Uh, first, we will look at the overall energy for the month of March 2023 for the sign of Virgo before we then move on to your emotional core. And your emotional core is about whether or not healing has to happen, things need to be released, or whether or not uh, something needs to be tweaked with regards to love, or maybe there's love coming in, that sort of stuff. Before we then uh, lastly look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of March 2023 for the sign of Virgo. Without further ado, let's have a look. Um, and I'm using my, my Galaxy Ball and my Astrology cards. Um, and for the overall energy, I'm drawn to the, to the Galaxy Ball, which is this little guy. So let's see where we're going. Right, you ready for this? <laughs> so, Virgos. Understand that when it comes to stress, you are a sign that deals with stress quite well. So ask yourself this month, how come I feel so shit? <laughs> right? If you actually do feel that way. The point is, you create the energy that is needed for you to move on and to move forward. And in the energy here of that galaxy ball, you're, you're a bit in the way. So you're the person that remains unconvinced that things will be working, if that makes sense. So what they're asking you is, is to really understand that your attitude, your energy, is what makes things really happen. Right? So that's really important. Um, that is quite interesting. As I'm recording, I'm seeing a time lag. I haven't had that before. Um, so Virgos. Some of you may be shifting in and out of time. So this is probably for a few of you that is quite, um, for, for whom it is quite uh, uh, prominent. If you wake up and you feel like, I haven't got a notion where I am, if you feel like your energy is really changing, especially after having a nap or something, um, there could be something to it. So I'm definitely getting some, some it's more time hopping than time travel, if that makes sense. In any case, um, the way this presents itself here has to do with the seventh house, which is about relationships and, and the likes. And uh, so something needs to be explored with regards to where you're heading. Right? So we're not even at your emotional core now, but it's sort of, um, I think we probably go there now. Let's go to the emotional core then, because it feels like that's all, we're already here. See you again. I never had this before. I could see myself talking and I was like, how come the screen is slower than I am? Or at least delayed than I am. And then <laughs> I hadn't even said anything and I could see myself saying stuff. Weird stuff. Very trippy. All I had was coffee this morning. Doesn't make me do th these things. <laughs> so trust me on it. Point is, there is some element of, of changing in time. Some of you may be affected by by that if you are a person that um is into quantum physics and into string theory you know research it a little you may actually be whoever this is for now uh, you may actually be a person that experience time shifts they're not unheard of and they are known in physics they're just not really established yet so you get loads of people who, who just trying to debunk shit they don't understand right so don't worry about it it is happening and it's happening for you but the point they're making is there's something from the so-called future future is not written it's the imminent future if that makes sense that you need to look at so in other words with regards to your emotional core and i'm saying this generally because obviously i'm getting this and i, I won't have the time to 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 just divide five things here and also whoever finds that video partly the, the messages are for you even if the time hopping thing may not be you in order for you to experience happiness when it comes to intimate relationships, project where is it we're going here. Conversely, if you are manifesting a relationship, look at it from a point of view, 
Where would I like to be with this relationship? Let's just say in six months time, right? Let's be proactive. Let's not do the same crap over and over again. Let's really manifest this into being something strong and something that is thriving because there is movement. Movement is quite important here this month because um, as, as a Virgo, um, you oftentimes feel, you know, you're in service. You do a lot for others. Um, and here you're asked to be uh, literally selfish with regards to anything emotional. You just claim whatever you want. Right? And it is much easier than to manifest it. That was your emotional core. That was interesting. Wow. Thank you, Virgos. Wow. That was awesome. Anyway, now we're going into opportunities as to present themselves to you in the months of March 2023. You are watching Thomas's Tower Reading with myself, Thomas Yana. Please, 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 please like, subscribe and share widely. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. So, since there was time hopping, you can buy me a coffee now and then you can buy me a coffee in the future. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to have a sip and then we go and look at your opportunities. Virgos, are you ready? Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't look like I'm ready. <laughs> In any case, hmm. with regards to opportunities, the first thing the guides are saying to you is you have to follow your heart, not your logic. The energy here feels like the spark has gone, has gone a little and you need to re- ignite that spark. So even if you're quite happy where you are, Virgo, let's just say you say like, no, I made that, I made that step and I'm, I really believe in it. It's not that it is the wrong step or the wrong move that you made or that you're going to make, but you have to feel it because there's change in the energy here. And so things are not static. They're not, they're not staying the same way. So don't be worried about what happens next. Whatever happens, happens, you will be fine. But the job is for uh, manifesting opportunities and making things actually work is for you to not fight change. And maybe if you have ideas, implement them now, right? Surprise yourself with the stuff you can come up with, if that makes sense, right? Virgos, that's all we got. Thank you so, so much for, for being here, for um, watching the video. And please like, subscribe and share. It really, really does help the, um, the channel. And uh, so, yeah, that's all I got. See you next month. Bye-bye.